Hi everyone! Today we're out here on an abandoned tarmac to test a high energy capacitor bank that I've recently pulled out of storage. This bank can store about 40 kilojoules and it can deliver that energy at a rate of over 100 megawatts. For our test load today, we'll use a good sized melon. Melons turn out to be great test loads since they contain a large amount of water, impurities that make the water conductive, and the melon has a very thick skin which holds in the steam explosion long enough for the water to absorb all of the energy. This test can generate a dangerous amount of noise, shrapnel, and a pretty nasty electromagnetic pulse. So I've chosen a test site that's sufficiently removed from civilization. Still, we'll need to keep an eye out for any unfortunate pedestrians that might wander across the tarmac. Now you might be wondering, how do you switch tens of thousands of amperes? Well, one easy way is through the simple expediency of a pneumatic ram-driven mechanical switch with suitably sized electrodes. The pneumatic ram can be controlled with this remote pendant by pressing this button. As you can see, I've added a heavy plywood cover over the test equipment. This provides a cradle of sorts for the test melon, but it also protects the high voltage bus work underneath from shrapnel. As we're about to see, some test loads can get rather messy. For connecting these high currents to the melon, we have two sharp high current electrodes. The heavy cables are bent to depart along the axis to minimize Lorentz forces. For this test, we'll use a good sized melon that a friend of mine at the grocery store gave me because apparently it got damaged here during transit. It still makes a great test load though. And I'm sure afterwards those seagulls there will appreciate a little snack. So to connect the probes, all you do is <laughs> stick one at each end. It's good to go. Okay, the bank's almost fully charged now. You can see the safety indicators on the cap bank flashing rather urgently. Just about ready to fire. Here's a close-up of the test fire, but slowed down 9,000 times. Note the large shock waves that are set up in the one inch thick piece of plywood. As you can see, the melon has achieved a high state of division. And it looks like melon shrapnel has traveled a considerable distance down the tarmac. Guess the seagulls are going to have quite a feast this evening. The current waveforms from that shot show about 54,000 amps peak, which gives a peak power right around 160 megawatts. 
Cheers.